Hey guys, what's going on? Dilksy here, and welcome back to Random Games Episode 2. This is Imperium Galactic War. I'm going to start off with a quick trailer, and we'll get straight back into the gameplay. See you guys in a bit. Hey guys, what's going on? Dilksy here, and welcome to another Spy God Spotlight. This is Hun Bats, the awesome new god that's come into the game. Um, first off, I want to start off with, this is going to be a Joust match again. And mainly because I just want to show off the god and show off the skills and stuff like that. And generally, um, I just want to show off the god. And um, I'm not going to do, well, for now anyway, I'm not going to do the uh, conquest matches and stuff like that. Because they're very unreliable whether I get the god when it just comes out and stuff like that. So for now, just matches and then I can talk and there's no rush and there's no disruptions, I suppose. So Hun Bats is Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong has now been... Removed from the game and Hunbats is in its place. So Hunbats has the same skill set as Summercon. So if you didn't know, here it is. Um, a bit of a change to the passive actually. Somersault, you know, flips through the air, crashes down, and slows them if you hit. Overhand smash, um, I'll show you now. So overhand smash is wham like that. So you have a bit of a delay and then uh, you do, you know, your overhand smash or whatever. Attack monkey! Oh, it's a bit like um, sorry if it lags again. I'm still trying out the new software and stuff, so hopefully it'll go well. And then uh, three is, of course, the monkey, where it bounces between people, but his skill set has changed a little bit. So his passive is if you hit uh, an enemy uh, every every time you use a base, um, every time you use an ability. So let's say now I use it, I've got the passive, and it basically does increased damage to the um, to the person. To the god or whatever the next basic that does more damage basically that's that's basically what i was going for there and um basically it's really powerful for jungling but um really awesome for gangs as long as you use it properly so let's say you start off with you're running in and you do an overhand smash onto a god then you have the passive so then you trigger it then you if they jump away then you jump after them and a hit on them and then you have again if you time it right you have another ability you have the passive that comes up again because it can only be triggered every two seconds so you know really powerful really strong and then you've got the um, three which has changed a bit so on the last hit if you hit an enemy then you teleport to them so basically humbat has two teleports he has it's three so if you catch him alone in jungle you can do do three jump onto them and then you know they die well you teleport onto them and then you you can do your other, other skills on them uh, I'm trying to show it now. Really like it. So, I don't know whether it likes you in the video, but it definitely likes for me. Um, so yeah, we've got one, two, and then show the three. Now his ultimate's changed a bit as well. So instead of it just being a keg that you drop on the floor and that fears them, now you've got this totem. And basically, wherever you put this totem, the the gods will fear away from. So I'll show it now on the next one. So this is going to jump forward here, fear him, and then look, he jumps towards it. I do serious damage to him. So now, there you go. I show him, show him teleport as well. I'm not going to be able to kill him, so I'm just going to back back tree there. So that's his ultimate as well, which is really powerful, especially in a uh, team comp kind of style. Um, generally, I go jungle as humbats, but um, obviously you can, you know, if you don't want to jungle or whatever, because Jungling is a very weird thing right now. I mean, I'm getting, I got used to it, and then they've changed it again, and now I have no idea how to do it all again. So, um, <coughs> uh, sorry about that. Um, yeah. So Hunbats, that's his skills in a way. Um, Items-wise, I'd recommend. Again, starting off, it's got to be my disputes for now, but um, I can see it changing in the future patches. So. Um, don't hold me on the item builds. Obviously, you want you want to see what other people are playing, uh, watch stream and see what they do as well. And um, where's Ra? Is he jungling again? I think he is. I think he was trying to jungle. Where'd you go? Oh, he's back in mid. Um, yeah. So obviously in this joust, I don't want to go jungling because it won't be very effective, and I might as well just stay in lane and. Um, Try and kill him. So I've gone the new warrior, uh, new ninja tabbies, which is basically uh, more crit. Now I've gone this instead of the physical pen, mainly because I want to try and crit him with my auto attacks. And um, generally, I would go the warrior tabby every time, even though they're a bit more expensive. It's they're like still really strong. You know, it's still ridiculously powerful. 
So I'm just gonna wait until wait until the next wave, and then I'm gonna kill Ra. So then after the um, obviously if you're if you're going jungle, then you want to get Bumbers and uh, rank one Tabi. Uh, you can't get Death Dot anymore, which is what I'd recommend before that. And it was really powerful. Here we go. We're going to kill him out. So, totem. Obviously, I, I landed my passive there. And there we go. Kill. So, ulti, hit, and then wait. Then do overhand smash, hit, and then obviously you can chain, you know, your your passives to do a serious amount of damage. Like, Humbats, I think right now, is a bit overpowered. He needs to be um, a bit nerfed in a way. But, you know, it might be the new item set. Maybe how the items are chained, stuff like that. That, that could be a huge thing to it. Get out of here, bro. So he's gonna use my three to clear the wave a bit. Oh, they're on me, they're on me, they're on me. Run. And surprise. There, I did. See, I didn't time it. Oh, no, it bounced. No way. Uh, I can't believe that bounced then, honestly. Um, so, yeah. Item wise, I would go Warrior, Warrior Terry at start, then into Void Blade, which is what I'm doing now, and then um, Jotun's Wrath. So I'll see that is this one here. Mainly because he uh, he relies quite heavily on his cooldown, so I'd recommend getting that. I'll see if you're getting a bit head or you get a bit uh, pooed on, then you might want to think about getting maybe Hide or Magi's Blessing. You know, depending on who's doing the destruction in in on their team. And uh, obviously, you only want to get Void Blade if they're heavy melee. So, look at that. Look at that damage. Jesus Christ. See, now I've got my full Void Blade, I can start tower diving a bit more. And, uh, well, actually, he's going to try and go back. Isn't he? No, not allowed to go back. So, after after Void Blade and Jones Wrath, then it, it's just kind of dependent, really. I mean, I generally go those two anyway, because it helps me. Uh, do serious amounts of damage um, right at the start, and it uh, really helps in that way. Pow, pow. Come on, Hyrus, you need to work on your raw body, it's too easy. Um, so, yeah, after Jotuns and Void Blade, I, I generally go hide and then Magis, which is my general bruiser build anyway. And then um, maybe after that, I'll, I might go Deathbringer or Time Spain, depending on whether I'm solo pushing or I'm doing some major assassin work. Cause Humbats is actually quite heavy, heavily on the uh, on the uh, auto attack, so really useful. In terms of link compositions, um, again, I'd say Humbats is a key jungler. So you might be thinking, you know, just do it as a jungle. But if you, if you ever do, you know, need to. Uh... So that was serious damage. That's like ridiculous amount of damage. I'm gonna get back now. Get my Druid's Wrath. So yeah, in terms of lane compositions, I'd recommend any tank, you know, any tank works with them. Athena is probably really powerful, especially to land all the skills and stuff on. And um, you may also be really powerful with the stun. You know, all the tanks are really good with with uh, Humbat. So uh, yeah, um, what else is there to talk about really? Uh, jungling wise, he's a really good jungler, he can do lanes, he can skills. All that stuff, yeah, so I've pretty much covered everything that I want to talk about with Humbats. I'm just going to kill Ra one last time, and then I'll end the video soon. Two, passive, passive, and then running away, and three, go. Obviously, that's because I'm incredibly fed right now, but um, as you can see, when he get, when Humbats gets fed, he gets seriously fed. Oh, one thing, um, you want to, in terms of maxing out your abilities, you want to max out two, then, well, priority is ultimate, two, Three and one, uh, mainly the ultimate because it does a lot of damage, uh, the ticks and stuff. So um, as you can see, it takes 45, and that's only at rank two. So obviously, it can take a lot of damage, especially in AOE wise. That that ticking can be really powerful. And um, yeah, that's been much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Any comments or questions about Humbats, uh, feel free to leave in the comment section below, and I'll reply as fast as possible. So thanks a lot for watching, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.